Federal High Court Judge Justice Abdul Dogo has been abducted by gunmen who are already demanding a 50 million naira ransom for his release. Justice Dogo of the Federal High Court of Akure in Undo State was kidnapped along with his driver at Ibilo Iswa Akoko Axis, a border, between, a border area between Undo and Edo States on their way from Abuja to Akure. Sources say the kidnap has contacted the family members and officials of the Federal High Court in Akure and Abuja to demand the ransom. A spokesperson to the Ondo State Police Command also confirmed the incident, but said it didn't happen within his uh, jurisdiction. However, the Ondo State Governor, Rotimi Akeredolu, has urged the State Police Command to synergize with its Edo and Kogi State counterparts to ensure the early release of Justice Dogo. Governor Akeredolu, in a statement, noted that the conflicting narratives on the location of the judge's abduction could disrupt proper intelligence gathering. Now, joining me in the studio is uh, Dr. Femi Idowu Adegoke, who's a public affairs analyst, uh, to make sense of all of this. How do you respond to this when you saw the story? Good morning, Amaka. Good morning. Uh, it's become worried some now. I think it was about three or four days ago, uh, an uh, assistant police commissioner mm -hmm. was kidnapped on along Abuja Kaduna Road. Mm -hmm. And then today or yesterday, we're hearing now a judge. that a judge is becoming more scary and is closer now. And personally, I feel these present security chiefs that we have, they don't have a, the strategy to combat this menace in our society of kidnapping and banditry and all sorts. Uh, I think I'll call on the federal government or the presidency. It's time to begin to look at change. Mm -hmm. We need change. We need new uh, style or intelligence to combat because it's coming closer home now. The police, the judge, before you know it, they will start coming into homes. Mm -hmm. I was just going to, yeah. To pick everybody one by one. Yeah, because I was just going to ask you, I mean, is, shouldn't we be worried if ordinary Nigerians, so to speak, if uh, highly placed Nigerians are being targeted, what about the common person? You know, what is the assurance of our security on a daily? So, well, the hope of the common man is lost a long time ago in Nigeria. The common man are not cared for. And it's becoming, that's why, like I said, it's more now in our faces. Because if people who perceived to be the privileged in the society, I am sure the, uh, the police commissioner will have uh, a police escort. The same thing with the judge, you will have one or two police officers. If they can be abducted, then there's no hope for uh, a uh, common man in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. That's quite unfortunate. And very uh, the last question for you now will be, what do you think would be the best solutions? You know, much as we say the government should do this and do that, how do we even curtail this whole business of abduction? Because some people really say that, you know, it's already, it's becoming a business. You get someone and you ask for this amount of money. They are asking for 50 million in this case. How do we curtail this? Yeah, well, it all comes back to uh, poverty, bad people, bad behavior, bad governance, have degenerated to this. We've read in Nigeria where people organize their own kidnap. We've heard family members, uh, workers organizing to kidnap their principals because of bad behavior, bad attitude, which is, is all over the country. I think we need to begin to look, think deep who we are really, or who are we. We need to begin to ask ourselves questions in as much as we think the government or the security arm of the country needs more intelligence. They need to be more proactive and not reactive. Mm, many thanks, uh, Dr. Femi, there for your thoughts on this matter.